What was your greatest challenge with dealing with fear? And, and how did you overcome it? Um, I always think that a healthy amount of fear uh, or a little bit of fear is healthy. Um, too much fear and you're paralyzed, not enough fear and you're arrogant. Um, you know, I feel like a, a small amount keeps you kind of primed and ready. Um, but I feel like you miss out on so many things in life um, by letting fear dictate what you do. So you, you can't live your life in fear. Um, and a lot of times, some of the greatest things in your life happen outside of your comfort zone. And if you let fear keep you in your comfort zone, then you'll never get to experience those things. You know, I never could have won the title if I didn't try to win it. But it's a scary thing going out there because, you know, anything can happen. I can, I can get knocked out. I can lose. I can, you know, I can put all this work in and still get beaten. You know, it's, it's a scary thing, but I also can't win it if I don't try. That was great. That was really great. That's inspiring. That deep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, no, I love that stuff. It's like so good. Like uh, when, when, uh, cause you know, like you're, you're actually living that you're putting yourself, you're confronting fear, like just stepping in the cage. You're confronting your, your own fears by stepping and just having one on other, other opponent. You're relying on yourself. Yeah. There's a referee in the cage, but it's just you and this other opponent that wants to tear you to smithereens. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a terrifying thing. You know, you have another mm. person who's an elite level athlete who wants nothing but to do bodily injury to you. <laughs> yeah. Terrifying. And not only that, everybody's watching. Yeah. You know? yeah. And it's like, it's, it's horribly terrifying, but you know, you still have to get in there and do what needs to be done.